Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am sharing with you a recipe video that I originally made for the Allergy Free From show in Australia. It is my white chocolate and strawberry Tim Tam recipe. If you're from Australia, you will know that the Tim Tam is the most well-renowned biscuit of your country. Um, we do get them in New Zealand as well. They are available in New Zealand, but they are essentially a Australian biscuit. And I respect that and I just wanted to let you know that I've put all my love and soul into this recipe and I hopefully am giving it the appreciation that it deserves. <laughs> So onto the process, it's not really technically difficult. There's three main parts, the biscuit base, the strawberry filling, and the white chocolate dipping. It doesn't take too long to make, but you do have to let it chill in the fridge for the chocolate to harden. If you have watched some of my other biscuit recipes, especially my New Zealand biscuit recipes like squiggles and mellow puffs, um, the biscuit base that I use is very similar. So this biscuit base that I'm gonna do today is a really easy, plain, not too sweet biscuit that goes really well when it's with something. So eating it by itself, it's a bit bland, but um, because a white chocolate Tim Tam is so sweet from the white chocolate and from the strawberry filling, um, it's ideal for this recipe. So I do tend to adjust the biscuit bases a little bit for each recipe, but if you have made any of my New Zealand biscuits before, you will already be an expert on this first part. So let's jump into it. For this recipe today, you will need 80 grams of butter, a quarter of a cup of caster sugar, one egg, 220 grams of gluten-free flour, half a teaspoon of baking powder, a quarter of a teaspoon of xanthan gum, and a pinch of salt. For the strawberry filling, you will need 150 grams of icing sugar, four to five strawberries, I'm using frozen because they're not currently in season over here, and 30 grams of softened butter. For the coating, you will need 250 grams of white chocolate and half a tablespoon of coconut oil. First things first, we're going to beat our softened butter and caster sugar together until it's light and fluffy. And next we're going to crack in the egg. Combined, we can go ahead and sift in all the dry ingredients. Now's a good time to preheat your oven to 180 degrees Celsius bake. Now we're going to roll the dough out to about half a centimetre thick on a floured surface and after that we're going to cut them into rectangles. I actually went and purchased a rectangle cookie cutter but for all of the other times that I've made these I have done it with a ruler and a knife and it's been absolutely fine. So what I'm saying is you don't need a cookie cutter to actually do these ones. If you are gonna be using a ruler, it's about two centimeters in width and three centimeters in height. So now we're going to pop these in for about 8 minutes or until they're nice and golden um, and then we're going to just repeat the process until we've used up all the dough. There we are. That's the first batch done and I'm just going to pop the second in now.
pretty plain. <laughs> So now we're going to go ahead and make the filling. Um, all we need to do first is to blend or pulverize the strawberries in whatever way you can. Um, I'm going to be doing this in the, this tiny wee blender here and blending them with a tiny splash of water until they're nice and smooth. So let's do that. Oh! Whoo! <laughs> Almost stained my jeans. <laughs> going to add our icing sugar, our softened butter, and not all of our raspberry puree at the moment. We want to add it in a tablespoon at a time to make sure that we don't make the icing too runny. And we're going to go ahead and blend that up. So I will be gently adding a little bit more puree as we go. Come take a closer look. So you can see it's getting there. I'm just going to put the last little bit in so I'm not going to use the full amount of puree I've got. And we're just going to chuck this in the fridge to harden up for about 15 minutes. Right, so that's nice and solidified now. Now we're going to move on to the fun part, sandwiching the Tim Tam. If you don't have a piping bag, no worries. All you need to do is take little scoops and squish them on like so. Like that. That's fine. And then you just take another one, squish together there is the inside of your Tim Tam but I am going to be popping mine in a piping bag just because it's a little bit quicker and a little bit less sticky Now we're going to move on to another fun bit, which is melting and coating the Tim Tams. So um, I've got a couple of blocks of white chocolate here. It's a little bit more than I need, but that's because white chocolate can be a little bit temperamental. So if you haven't worked with white chocolate before, um, it has a really high sugar content, which means that it can turn and become really grainy quite easily, especially if it's melted over too high of a heat or if any, any, any little tiny bits of moisture get in the bowl with the chocolate. To help with that, I've got some coconut oil today. It just tends to keep it smoother, it gives it a little bit more oil, and coconut oil is also really good for hardening chocolate, so we don't have to fuss around with tempering. We're gonna melt the chocolate with a bain-marie, which is a pot of boiling water on the stove, and then a bowl sitting on top of it. We put our chocolate in, we stir until it melts, and once it's all sort of half melted, we can take it off the heat and stir until the rest melts. It doesn't actually need to be on top of the heat until it's fully melted. It can do that by itself away from the heat. So let me show you how I'm going to do that.
and now we just need to pop these in the fridge to sit. It's been a few hours now, so the Tim Tams should be ready. So let's take a look. Ooh, yeah, they are. What? There's a few missing. What? No one, no one pay attention to that. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to gently slice off the excess chocolate on the bottom, and then they're good to go. Taste test time. Delightful. And there's my Tim Tams. <gasps> Caught it. <laughs> All right, that's the end of my video today. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this recipe today, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. If you want to try the recipe out yourself, you can find the link to that in the description below. Uh, but otherwise, I will see you in my next video. And let me know if you want to see other Tim Tam recipes. I've got a classic Tim Tam and I've got a caramel Tim Tam that I can do as well. Uh, but those recipes are already up on my blog, so you can go check them out now if you want to. Anyway, have a wonderful day wherever you are and I will see you soon.